anybody a welterweight. That's why he fought Bisping. He didn't want to fight Woodley. He didn't want to fight Wonderboy Thompson. He didn't want to fight any of those guys. Um, he wanted to fight Michael Bisping. He did, and, and now he's off again. So, uh, listen, I'm not shocked. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm, so it is what it is. You said you'd be super pissed. Yeah. I thought I would be, but I'm not. I expected it. That, listen, I had him sign a contract that said he would defend against Whitaker for a reason. Because I knew he wouldn't. There's a reason I put that stuff in the contract for him to sign. There's a reason. And, and you know, am I shocked? You know, I don't think anybody's shocked. Came out, he handpicked it, he handpicked Bisbing and then went away again. So, whatever. It is what it is. Do you think that it is more likely that he never fights again, given his health condition? There is a definite possibility. I don't want to say yes or no, because it's not my decision whether he comes to me. These are deeply personal decisions that George has to make. Moreover, they have to be made not as spur-of-the-moment decisions. These are life-changing decisions. So they'll have to be made on, on the basis of George's reaction to the medication he's taking for ulcerative colitis. From what I understand, the standard medications for ulcerative colitis take some considerable amount of time to take effect anywhere from three to eight months before you'll even notice significant changes. We have to see how he reacts to his medication regimen and make a decision based on that. But you can understand, Kenny, why fans were frustrated that the Bisping GSP fight was made in the first right. place and frustrated to see St. Pierre walk away, whether it's the colitis or not. I mean, the colitis thing. Like, I'm not just going to chalk everything up to colitis here. No, I, and I get that. I understand that. Obviously, George St. Pierre, a former welterweight, I think wanted that fight against Michael Bisping to do something that's never been done before. I think he wanted a higher profile fighter in Michael Bisping. And Michael Bisping is the highest profile fighter at middleweight, whether he's the champion or not. He's got the biggest name. He's been around for a very long time he's found himself in a lot of big fights because of that i think that's what was so enticing and appealing to george st pierre to take that fight to be honest again i'm not surprised he's not going to defend the belt but uh this ulcer colitis thing it is real he had to gain yes. a lot of weight to make middleweight he was trying to eat as much as possible did not work out for him george st pierre eats a lot of meat he was eating a lot to get ready for bisping and there were guys in his camp that actually didn't want him to fight they were really yeah. concerned with what was happening to him and how he was feeling so he almost had to drop out of the bisping fight because of it very unfortunate it's very very painful thing to deal with i talked to george earlier last week he said that he was in a tremendous amount of pain been to the doctors he has it now under control his weight is now gone from like being uh, around 197 to 187 he's lost around 10 to 12 pounds or something like that he told me so he said if he fights again it, it's going to be closer to 170 he said what he did to his body was not a good idea you know and, and i think that i think he did have an intention of fighting and, and defending his belt if he felt good I think he would have ended up probably fighting Robert Whitaker. And you know what? If there's someone who goes and does something like this and says, you know what, I'm going to vacate the belt, it's George St. Pierre. I, 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 I think agree. he's a guy who's done everything in this sport. I, I think if there's one guy who's allowed to do it, it is George St. Pierre. So it's unfortunate. But again, hopefully we see him back. Go And hopefully we see him back in and around 170 pounds against another quality uh, fighter. I know Tyron Woodley, obviously, has been looking for that fight. I know when I talked to George, George's main concern was, you know what, Kenny, I, I don't want to hold up this division. I don't want to right. hold up this division. There's a lot of other guys that are doing that. I know Luke Rockhold has been wanting this shot as well. Let these guys fight and, and, and take the belt, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with me. <laughs>